Ranch at Red Oak, where some of the horses are hanging out before the big event. Well, hello, Ticia. Hey, guys. Good to hear both of you guys, you and uh, Shannon. So, yes, hundreds of black and brown uh, cowboys and cowgirls are going to be at this event. I actually have a friend right next to me, and it's all for a big prize here, but... This is gonna be magic. Look, hey, say hi to magic. We're not gonna interview him. We actually have Wendell Hurd here with me this morning. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk about the event. I mean, we all know it's gonna be a rodeo, obviously, but I mean, can you paint me a picture of what people can expect if they attend? Well, this is gonna be your, uh your typical rodeo, we've got five different events starting with ranch bronc riding, steer wrestling, tie down or open barrel racing, and everybody's favorite bull riding. But we also have a couple of specialty acts, uh, the Mexican side saddle, the uh, La Scaramusa. Mm -hmm. I also have the Circle L5, and we also have a Pony Express relay race. It's uh, basically like a track meet on horseback is what gonna, it is. I used to run track, so I, I was just going to say this sounds like a track meet, and we love Ponies, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. So obviously this gives people the opportunity to, to learn more about the, unf the forgotten stories about black and brown cowgirls and cowboys. So tell me about the significance too. Yeah, this rodeo has been going on for 34 years. This brings into light the story that the history books left out. At least one, every, one in every four cowboys in the West were black. You didn't see that in the history books. We've been there from the beginning. Our job here is to keep letting you know we're still out there today competing. I love that. And let's talk about your father, obviously a legend who doesn't know him, Cleo, Cleo Hearn, obviously. And so, I mean, his impact is amazing. Uh, can you talk to me more about that, how, how much of an impact to, you know, his role is in the community, but also just as a family? He's been a leader in, in the home and outside of it. You know, he, he had no rodeo background. His idol was a black cowboy named Mar Marvell Rogers. Once he saw Marvel, he wanted to be a cowboy. <laughs> He's the first African-American cowboy to win a professional rodeo in Denver back in 1971. He took an all-black rodeo to New York City back mm. in 1970. He's been putting on rodeos for over 50 years, so we're just going to keep going for what he's already started. He was last year inducted into the National Cowboys Hall of Fame, so okay. he's, I guess you could say he's a big deal, but he started as they say, he started when there wasn't a trail. Okay. And he's paved a trail for a lot of other African-American cowboys. Okay. And so let's go with the nuts and bolts about tomorrow's event. I know it starts at 7, doors open at 6. Tell me more. Uh, it's going to be, it's just about slowed out, so you might want to go ahead and get your tickets now because <laughs> it's going to be fast-paced action. Like I said, this is going to see some of the best cowboys and cowgirls in, in the in the Southwest. Okay, so you guys, I know that you guys are looking at your screen right now. You see all the, that's happening in the event, but they also want me to get on top uh, and ride. Well, not sure if I'm riding Magic, but I have to get up, right? Yes. All right, so let's do it. Magic, don't do anything <laughs> crazy. We're on live TV, all right? Let's see if I still got it. I used to ride horses as a kid, guys. Get on up Whoa. there, girl. Whoa! ready to go. Magic's a good boy. Aww. We're not going to take off. Slow down. We've got Princess there. We've got Z there. So much going on. We're going to take off. We're going to go, buddy. We're going to go a little bit. Who knows? All right. But <laughs> we have so much more to talk about in just an hour. <laughs> we'll have so much more to talk about in just an hour, in, in about an hour. And we're also going to talk more about the event. But I'm going to swing it back to you guys before Magic gets a little too excited. Okay, guys? Aww, awesome. <laughs> so much fun. Nice job, TCO. Proud of you for getting up there. I know. All right. 843. Hard to really say too much nice about the weather other than, you know, it's just basic.